Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Soren here today with another tutorial. This is a tutorial that had been requested off of my Titanfall edit. Uh, it's basically how I got the, the rainbow stuff going on here inside of the text. It's really quite an easy, it's an easy concept that can be adapted to multiple different ideas and stuff like that. So you have a video playing, you know, a picture inside of it or whatever you want. So just to uh, get right into it, we're going to go over here to our new composition. Uh, you're going to type out some text. I have just the word hello written here with some more or less thick blocky letters. That way you can see what's going on inside. And this first one I'm going to show you uses a, uh, actually uses a plugin. This uses the Sapphire plugin. But nonetheless, we're going to go up to layer and hit solid. Just create a new solid. And you're going to go and type in psycho or clouds, S underscore cloud psycho. So what this is going to do is just generate this randomly seeded, uh, I guess, kind of a fractal of just, you know, different colors happening on the screen. You can go through, mess with all of these settings, you know, make things happen faster, make parts bigger, uh, make it change the colors faster and things like that. But we're just going to leave it on default for now, just for the sake of the tutorial. And what you're going to want is to put your text layer above it, just directly above. And uh, from here, you're just going to want to track mat it to, to the text layer. If you don't have the track mat drop down here, what you're going to do is hit toggle switches in mode and I'll switch it over from the, the checkboxes to these drop downs. So on the layer with all the colors going on, you hit track mat and do alpha mat. That way it'll be inside of whatever is not transparent on the layer on top. So that's honestly it. That's how you do it. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys one other way to do it if you don't have this plugin, you don't feel like downloading it. So if we go over here to a different composition, what I did is I just downloaded a, uh, a paint splatter image from online. Uh, you can just you know, Google it, Google paint splatter. And we're just going to make this bigger. And uh, to get the effects of it changing kind of randomly and changing color, what you're going to do is go to uh, Turbulent Displace. Put that on here. Uh, I'm going to jack up the mount a little bit so it's a bit bigger, but more distorted. And you're going to hold down Alt and click on the stopwatch next to Evolution. Here I'm going to type an expression called time times 200. And uh, what this will do is, without me putting any manual keyframes, it will change this value. So now it's uh, just constantly evolving as they want to say, but it's just it's changing the way it looks. So it gives that kind of a random feel. And next we're going to change the hue. So we're going to go over here and type in hue. Uh, do hue slash saturation, another uh, effect that comes with your After Effects. And um, you're going to go to Master Hue. You're actually going to click on the color range. You're going to keyframe at the beginning and then go to the end and keyframe it. Just kind of jack this wheel up a little bit, do a couple spins. That way, as it goes through, it'll be constantly changing color. Now, if you want to smooth this out even more, uh, so there's not as many kind of like hard edges that you can kind of see, you can just go ahead and blur the layer as well. So I'm going to type in Fast Blur. And I'm going to put this underneath everything and put it up a little bit that way. Like I said, you, you can't see it as you can't see the hard edges as well. And now you got this kind of distorting this blob moving around and changing color. So this is something you can use in lieu of having the clouds, the cycle clouds from the plugin. And what you do from this is just uh, make another text layer. You know, hello. And then go ahead and do the track matting process again. And bam, you got you got a rainbow inside. And then, like I said, you can also use this with pictures, videos, or you know whatever you want to put in there. So make sure you leave any more tutorial suggestions you want down in the comments below. Make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video. And I've been Soren, and I'm out. Thank you.